consumption and world production, how it has evolved. Huh? Uh, all the while, production has always been on top of uh, consumption. Uh, there was even a certain period where they are forced to convert uh, wine uh, into um, industrial alcohol, okay, not to waste them. And uh, today, I think if we see that um, uh, some con congruence of the, the two, uh, two curves coming a bit more closer. Okay? And how it, how it will pan out in, in the future, there's two schools of thoughts. If you take a long-term perspective, uh, drawing that graph from the very beginning, you will see that uh, uh, this is just temporary. In the long term, there is uh, an increase in the uh, consumption of uh, bottled wine. But if you take a, a shorter-term perspective, that means uh, something uh, after the financial crisis, huh? Uh, you can see that uh, the curve is coming down. So if we project further and looking at the economic situation uh, today, I think uh, it will come down a little bit more before uh, you will go up again. And so I think that my reading of uh, the consumption of uh, bottled wine. So um, if you look at the cons world production, uh, today, um, any Italian here? So they must be very happy. Huh? Today, um, Italy is the number one. Huh? producer of wine. Uh, Italian and France, uh, they are always uh, you know, taking place. Huh? So after three years, then it's my turn, then they took over the top spot so that they don't fight. So it's fair for all. Okay, so we see that uh, uh, France and Spain uh, be falling quite closely behind. And uh, wine, uh, in terms of uh, the production, so uh, France uh, dropped by 12%. That's why they come down below uh, Italy. And more so, if you look at South America, like Argentina, there's a minus 35% drop in production. Chile. So uh, it's up to you to read how would be prices from these countries uh, in, in, the, in the next two years to come. Uh, with production dropping uh, now, uh, you will see that uh, probably there will be a, a shortage. Uh, such wine, and also France, uh, the Bordeaux, uh, twelve percent drop. So the, there will be more demand, uh, more chasing after Bordeaux wine uh, in the future. Okay, so frequency of consumption. You could see that uh, gone are the days when people, uh, uh, what do you say, drinking regularly, uh, not so much now. Okay, and uh, people, what you see is this occasional consumers taking over. Non-consumer also not there because with all the publicity, all the hype on wine, I can see also many people uh, are drinking drinking wine. I mean, if I look at uh, the participants at my wine courses at Singapore, at certain intake, I can see more ladies than men over there, you know? So I say, where are the men? They are looking after the babies at home. <laughs> okay, so, um, so occasional drinkers uh, is now, the, I would say, taking on the, the prominence. So I think in your marketing and all that, you should also look into, from that perspective, how to target this group of people. And with the occasional means that uh, they, they find occasion to drink, means that you have to create occasion for them, okay? And wine consumption, contrary to many uh, people's belief, huh? so when we look at Consumption per capita is actually not high. You know? Here he's talking about drinker, non-drinker, all inclusive. Huh? And, uh, but if we talk about among maybe those who drink, maybe a bit higher, but uh, it's in, in Japan, he's talking about two, two liter. Uh, I think today you will all beat the quota no? uh, at this uh, seminar, no? that per capita consumption in Singapore. Um, so what we see is that uh, still out there, a lot of people are not drinking. So don't go around and say that, oh, the, there's no market, but you have to look at the potential uh, in the markets. I mean, the famous saying when people go to India last time, they say no market because the Indian don't wear shoes. Huh? Yeah? But someone come back and say that the huge market because they don't wear shoes. So it's up to you, there are different ways to skin the cat, so you're up to you to interpret that. So here, same thing. I think it's not to fight on the same pie, but how to work on expanding the pie. I think that's very important. So I think I now pass over to my colleagues, huh? um, 
Thomas to break 